everyone welcome to the channel so tonight I'm out in the garden finally finishing planting our vegetables so the last thing I have to plant is onions so to plant them I'm using sprouted onions that we had that didn't get used from in the pantry so to plant onions you can't just plant this whole thing in the ground so to plant a sprouted onion like this the first thing you're gonna do is peel the outer layer off And then once the outer layer is off, I'm going to take a knife and just gently cut in to peel the layers of onion off and there will be a sprout inside the actual onion. So I'm not going to cut all the way through at once because I don't want to cut into the sprout. All I'm doing is peeling all the layers of onion away from these sprouts that are coming up in the middle. Alright, so once I'm down to the sprouts themselves, you can see there's multiple sprouts in this onion, so I'm going to separate the sprouts apart. All right, so this is one sprout here. And then this one, this one here is still two sprouts, so I'm going to peel a little bit more off and separate them. base of them apart with my knife. So we have another onion sprout here. And then we have the third sprout here. So this one onion ended up being three sprouts and each of these will grow into an onion. Then I have one more to do. So this one's smaller. This one's probably only going to be one, maybe two sprouts. This one actually has a tiny little second sprout starting. So I'm going to try to separate them. This one might be too small to survive, but we'll try it. So you can see now that that's off, that there's two separate sprouts there. So I'm just going to cut them apart. This will be easier on a table rather than out on the garden to cut them apart. But. So there's our tiny little one. Peel some of this back off of it. And then we have this one. Right, so our two onions ended up being five sprouts. So from two onions, we're getting five fresh ones. So these onion sprouts, I'm gonna plant in my weed fabric. I do have a row of onions outside of the weed fabric that I bought as seedlings and planted. Um, I wasn't sure how the onions would be in the fabric because once they grow an actual onion, they might not fit out through the hole. So I might have to cut the holes bigger. But I figured since I have these that I'm gonna plant, I'll try them both ways and see which way works better. All right, so I have my holes in my weed fabric here, so I'm gonna plant just this white part under the ground. So I'm just gonna make a hole, drop that part in, and then push the dirt in around it. Plant 
plant our little guy. Some of these are growing on kind of weird angles from growing inside the onion bag, but once they're in the ground, they should straighten up. All right, and we have five onions planted out of two bad onions that we would have just thrown away otherwise. So now that the garden is 100% finally completely planted, while I'm out here, I'll give you a quick tour of what we have planted and how we have it set up. So most of the plants we have in the woven weed fabric so these there are six 50 foot rows each have a planting area of about four feet wide that's where the majority of the plants are and then we just did the wood chips in between to help hold the fabric down and tight so the first row we have tomato plants uh, we have a few different varieties of some cherry tomatoes beefsteak plum um, we do have one or two small green tomatoes that are starting but the majority just have blossoms on them all of a sudden the plants seem like they're growing and doing really well so we should have tomatoes starting pretty soon then we have some yellow squash and these are actually i think of everything doing the best we have they're loaded with small yellow squash starting and then after the squash we have bell peppers then some brussels sprouts and some green beans on the far end so in the next row we have are beets and then the rest of the row is carrots so the carrots i planted in two different batches um, a couple weeks ago i planted the first section and then i think it was last week i planted the second half that way they aren't all harvested at the same time middle row is all different varieties of lettuce this first section was planted um, a couple weeks ago and they were planted as larger seedlings from a store so they're quite a bit ahead of the other lettuce that's planted, but it's all doing really well. And then we have some more beets, some green beans, spinach, which I think of everything, the spinach is actually what seems to be struggling and doing the worst. I planted the, the spinach in seed trays and it didn't get very big, but I transplanted it anyway to hopefully see if it would do better in the ground. So it seems like it's doing a little bit better now that it's actually in the ground, but it's still Still not doing that great considering the lettuce next to it was started in a seed tray at the same time. You can see the spinach is just a tiny couple little leaves and the lettuce is actually doing really well. So then after the spinach I have a section of turnips and then this fabric is cabbage and then broccoli and then the onions we just planted and then after the onions is all green beans. So. A lot of the stuff that we planted more of I tried to vary a little bit so that we wouldn't have everything ready at the same time. So then next we have celery and then sugar snap peas which these um, plants that I started in seed trays are getting close to needing something to climb on. They're kind of starting to attach to each other so we're gonna have to make something for them soon. And then the rest of the the double holes are sugar snap peas that I just planted tonight. Just seeds that I planted directly in the ground. And then the rest of this row is acorn squash. Um, and those are still seeds that they haven't sprouted yet either. And then the next row we have zucchini and then some small eggplant seedlings that I just transplanted the other day. And then the last row, these are bigger eggplants that I bought these as larger started seedlings. And then butternut squash and summer squash. So I did the majority of the stuff in the weed fabric to hopefully keep down on weeding, but then I do have some plants planted in hills outside of the weed fabric. So the plan for this area is to weed it and then spread wood chips all around through. We just haven't had a chance to get the chipper out and make the chips to do it. So we have some cucumbers out here, a few more larger uh, plant varieties of zucchini, and then a bunch of watermelon down there. 
Um, and then I do have another row of onions. So I wasn't sure how, like I said, how onions will do in the weed fabric. So I figured I'll try them both ways since I had those extra sprouted ones um, to put in the weed fabric and I had some extra space. So that should wrap up tonight's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.